So moving right ahead, uh, the first area that we're going to talk about best practices around performance. So many times our customers uh, have decided to maybe purchase OBIEE uh, and working on an uh, OBIEE implementation or planning for it, and um, sometimes they perceive that they don't need a data warehouse. Maybe they feel that they can connect to uh, a data source or a data system that's not uh, developed to do analysis. Uh, it's not in a, an analytical star schema model. Not sure if those names uh, uh, ring a bell, but it's very important to develop a data warehouse in which you can put a BI tool on top of and really allow for analysis to be done inside your organization. So a data warehouse is really important and it's one of the key best practices in deploying Oracle BI or any BI tool. Uh, you want to make sure you're building analytic friendly uh, data models, as I mentioned, star, star schemas. And one very key thing that Oracle offers are their BI analytic applications, which uh, obviously meet this need and allow for uh, great deployments of OBIEE. Uh, the second thing that we want to point out is, again, the tool uh, has a lot of great functionality to it, including caching. And caching can be a great, great asset to your implementation. But one thing that we want to note is do not rely too heavily on caching. Uh, you may rely too heavily on caching, and what you'll find is you are actually spending more time looking at the server to meet the needs of your queries than you are when you actually go to the database. So there are best practices around setting up caching and not to over-utilize it. Uh, you know, don't allow for tens of thousands of queries to rely on caching. Instead, build aggregate tables inside your data warehouse and use an aggregating strategy in which OBIEE is very smart in understanding what aggregate table to use when it's uh, fulfilling the request of a query. Uh, the final best practice point around performance is do not rely too heavily on building case statements in either your reports or your metadata. So many times uh, as we're implementing and uh, business requirements uh, come up and, and we want to do a case statement or we want to you know, uh, group some information together or, or use case statements to build queries and metrics or whatever the case may be, it's very easy to build those things inside the OBIEE metadata or on dashboards and reports. And that's okay uh, to utilize sometimes, but it shouldn't necessarily be your strategy. And uh, if you utilize too many case statements, uh, you'll have a, a little bit of a performance problem within your BI implementation as well. So make sure you're utilizing your ETL tools and building those uh, you know, groupings and hierarchies and dimensions and, and those types of things inside your using your ETL tool inside the data warehouse. Again, the BI analytic applications uh, help us with this and uh, provide a great uh, data warehousing solution with a great ETL tool.